Hi guys, it's Kit. Um, we're going to talk about hooks in this video. So, before we proceed, I'd like to say that this is part of a series for um, guys that are first starting out. And for those of you who have experience and wondered why there are different shaped hooks, um, well, you know, here's the reason why there's traditionally shaped hooks such as this with a round bend and you'll see some angles on this one which is called uh, Tech Set by VMC and we're gonna talk about why okay um, if you have thoughts on anything that we're discussing here please drop a comment below and uh, we'll start a uh, healthy discussion alright so let's dive right in let's talk about the uh, more traditional hooks first now you can see that this guy right here is uh, forged so when you say forged it has uh, the sides are flattened this is to make it really strong helps it um, keep its shape so that it doesn't bend out okay this is a jigging hook this is something I use for like really really big jigs and um, I think about 300 grams 250 it starts um, and then I start using this jigs for amber Jackson you know deep drop operations uh, very strong hook very reliable okay and um, good hooking holding yeah um, does a good job traditional shape same with this one this is a lighter version okay as you can see it's also forged and round wire same as this and um, for its size it has like a light wire but I have to be honest this one I've caught some some well I've hooked some nice fish and it bends up all right so I mean there's really not much to talk about when it comes to traditional hooks and or the traditional shape of hooks so we all know it we've used them since we were kids and all that um, you can find them anywhere really now here's something unique you know the shape is uh, well it's still a j-hook okay so when I say a j-hook it its point is not curled in like this circle right here but it's almost like a circle okay now major difference is for any other type of hook is the fact that this has some angles okay and although you know a lot of people actually have thoughts in this and that they discuss and everything but I actually sat down with VMC and, and spoke about this and, and asked about the angles and all that and why it works now here's the thing this is quite interesting we use this big one for uh, to illustrate now believe it or not every time you bend a hook and put a flat surface on it it's actually stronger it becomes stronger okay especially when it's forged like this so when it's flattened on the sides like this it has a lot of advantages and having these angles actually helps this hook a lot now comparing the shape to this you'll see that it's just a nice soft bend whereas this one is really like almost squarish now in physics we have fulcrums okay and when you make a flat surface on a hook it becomes a fulcrum so we have that we have this and we have this so the fish has to bend this straight before it bends this portion before it bends this portion so with a traditional hook such as this one like a round bend the fish just has to bend this and then it opens whereas this it has to really pull on this okay before this starts to bend and when this starts to bend that's the only time where this part bends 
So even if it looks kind of small and thin, this is actually quite a strong hook. I'm not gonna say that it's stronger than this because this, this by, I mean, look, it's big. But same size hook with this, this has a lot more advantages, okay? Because as you can see, the wires are also thinner. Now, with a thinner wire, you get better penetration because it's less surface area going into the meat of the fish. That's one, hooking the fish. Now, when the fish gets hooked, the meat also gets trapped there. And like this, you know that, see, there's a gap. With this, you'll see that there's no gap, okay? Even if I use the smaller fingers right there, there's no gap, so it holds the fish better. My experience with this hook, or these types of hooks, I mean, I use them for jigging, and um, there's pre-made ones for slow jigging, like these. And they started making um, assist hooks made of this particular hook. Now, if you're curious of what model this is, this is the VMC. 7269 focus it's the VMC 7269AH there we go okay now there's another kind which is called the 7117 and I'll show you the difference okay this is the uh, 7117AH oops right there okay now the 7117AH, these are actually, if you look closely here, they don't have eyes, whereas the 7269 has eyes. So if you're into making your own assist hooks, the eyed ones, you can put a knot there and it's a bit more secure. So far though, I mean these hooks have not failed me, it's just that these are designed for lighter lures or lighter jigs whereas these ones are when you're after really big fish and they hold boy do they hold okay so that's basically the main difference really it's the hook holding power of this particular hook is way better than a round bend I, I could say honestly that I've lost fewer fish while using the tech set, the tech set bend, than the uh, the round ones. You know, I mean, this is practically all I use now, really. Th this one or the 7117. So, that's the advantage, you know, even if they're thin, and um, this is the largest of the series. But if you take a round bend hook that's of the same size wire, this is stronger because of those flat areas. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean that's my experience. There's uh, there's a, a lot of other guys there that have started using this, and uh, this hook has become quite popular here in the Middle East and a lot of people have been using them and I have to say these especially the smaller ones like this size one right here you could you could hardly find them in the shops because they sell so fast and we're using them on jigs as small as 20s and 15s this is a 20 gram and this pairs up well with this one there's also a 15 gram jig and uh, of a koika that we use it with but yeah I mean even with uh, I build my own assist hook so I've, I've used quite a few hook models I've, for my personal ties I use the 7117s in size 1 this is the smallest it goes for now and um, yeah I mean they're, they're quite effective anyway so yeah that's uh, that's the reason for these uh, angled hooks <laughs> that's a pun but this is the reason for these hooks with the flat bends on them and um, the reason why they got so popular over the last few years it's just because of that it's really strong thin you have really good penetration 
and they actually hook the fish the hooking percentage of this is quite high I have to say all right so yep I hope you learned something and um, I'll see you in the next one and don't forget like comment and subscribe